Congressman Michael McCall has been working on Capitol Hill to pass bills to help stop human trafficking. He's been meeting with groups fighting for victims. Debbie Lee sat down with the congressman to get his perspective on the problem and the search for solutions. Thank you so much for joining us, Congressman. So, basically, with all your different meetings on human trafficking, what's your focus? You know, what are you hoping to to gain from these meetings and be able to share? I think. Um, just the human tragedy element. It's uh, the sort of modern day slavery of our lifetime. And these stories are shocking. Um, I did pass out of um, Congress the Blue Campaign Bill, which authorizes the Blue Campaign within the Department of Homeland Security to coordinate with state and local law enforcement, share intelligence, but also with the uh, private sector entities like you know, hotels and lodges and trucking uh, stops where a lot of these. Uh, Really, young women are caught up in this abusive uh, exploitation, both sexual and drug addiction. Some of these children are brought from Central America up into the United States and exploited, and then others are uh, just at uh, local high school campuses uh, recruited, and then got, they get put into this sort of vicious cycle uh, that they can't break out of. What other ways can we streamline these efforts to primarily help youth who may be afraid of opening up or, you know, may may not know anything that's going on? Well, there's a national hotline number that uh, anybody who sees signs of this uh, happening and uh, anybody that's a victim uh, that wants to get out uh, of this uh, cycle can call the hotline number. And I think the awareness, really building the awareness, because this has been going on for a while. I think only until recently have we been paying attention and, and prosecuting the offenders, uh, learning how to spot the signs of it, um, and effectively deal with this on a nationwide level. This month is Human Trafficking Awareness Month, uh, so it's a good time to have this bill passed out of the House and, uh, and uh, start this awareness campaign to stop me. I have four daughters, uh, uh, teenagers, and uh, the idea of one of them being uh, picked up off the streets and victimized like this is just horrific. A lot of the times when we have the conversation about human trafficking, the focus is on, you know, prosecution, putting the bad guys away. What more can we do to bring better, you know, better support systems for their survivors so that way they can rebuild and they, they know where to turn to and have resources to lean on? Well, I think the refuge, which is a kind of a local Austin area, um, it'll be a, a, a place where the victims can go. To, to be treated with bed space, to be treated for uh, their, they're all going through post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. It's a very traumatic experience and so they have a lot of issues they have to grapple with after the fact. And so places like the refuge are fantastic. Um, you know, we only have about 300 beds nationwide, which is actually uh, just uh, outrageous and, and only a handful of those in Texas. So I think I think more places we can um, support like the refuge and others to provide the victims a safe place to go to when they've been victimized. And then I do think as a former federal prosecutor that the, these perpetrators of such an evil act against our children need to be put behind bars. With events like the Super Bowl and Olympics coming up, are there any security concerns, you know, just overall security, but even with human trafficking. And my number one concern as the chairman of Homeland Security is, is a terrorist attack at one of these uh, events. They're, um, they're national um, uh, security events, they call them. So with that, you have a lot of law enforcement. But one of the things when I meet with, uh, whether it's federal or local law enforcement, is the fact that these traffickers prey on these types of events to pull these young women into uh, their human slavery, if you will. So we do have eyes and ears to, to try to find this where it exists at these events. And you're right, the Super Bowl, big event. There are going to be a lot of uh, traffickers out there trying to pick up young uh, women. And then you're going to also see at the Olympics the same phenomenon. And it's, a glo it's not just an American, United States issue. This is a global issue, a global uh, epidemic and tragedy.